Leslie Schiff, originally a painter, has made deadpan images of everyday objects like a radio or a clock, as well as moody still lifes with fruit and plants. The New York Times, how about that? This is good. I'm ready. I'm just making new pieces of work. <laughs> Even when I tear stuff up, I, I, I have a, another place for it. First came home with my first few pages, and I went, wow, this color is, this is modern color. That's the first, and that's the most monumental thing I can remember, the aha moment. There were only two copy machines in the whole city. This guy had a copy shop for Wall Street people, busy all the time, like a madhouse, but he had a photocopy and he let you use it. The one at Jamie Canvas, you couldn't use it. You gave them what you wanted, they gave you the copy, you gave them the 50 cents of the dollar, and you got the copy. This guy didn't care. So I started bringing in everything, my globe, jewelry, anything I could find, anything, all different surfaces. I wanted to, what does it do to this? What does it do to that? I thought there was something more there, something much, much more, more to find out, more ways to use the tool. Your whole studio was in the tool, in the machine. The color, the light sources, there were two cameras in there. It was reading the imagery by light as if I was painting. Let me lay the red down, let me lay the yellow down, let me lay the blue down. It's everything that I'm, I've ever been attracted to, every surface I've ever wanted to make happen. The way it worked was a great thing for my speedy nature because you only have 30 seconds to make a whole bunch of decisions before you get the result. You want to flow and you want to, and the more you're connected to flow, the faster you get to vision. Ooh. Even when it doesn't work, I got an idea. Okay, I know what to do. It's almost, but I like something that happened there. You always say there's gonna, this'll be the last one. I don't think I can get it any better than this, but somehow you just keep going and then there's 30 more, 50 more. It's endless. I knew I, th I stumbled on something new and I knew I was gonna keep going and find out how far it could go and that where it was going was gonna, the result of it was gonna be something highly contemporary. And so it occurred to me that using the photocopier made me an American artist because I was in my culture, which was dealing with electronics. I'm an American. I go to the movies, I watch TV, this is my culture. And yes, I went to art school, but this tool fits my Americanness because it's that bang, it's right there. I don't know how it came to me. I got this idea that I would do something, I would call it seasons, but instead of the literal spring, summer, winter, fall, it would be seasons 
of man, woman, child, civilization, technology, nature, so that I then could set out to find these different objects that would represent those aspects of, and those seasons of our existence. I had a studio at the time on 28th Street. It had a big, big room that faced the Chrysler Building and the Empire State Building with beautiful north light. And then the back room was a bathroom and a, a bedroom, a bathroom and a kitchen. And I would lay down, shut the door to the big room because of all that light and lay down on the bed. And then this image would appear. The image of a clock, the image of a man's face, the image of the beach ball. And then I would go out and find the props that I was being directed to find. That's how it happened. And a lot of people think when they're talking to an artist, oh, well, I don't have any talent. I'm thinking, well, you look fine to me. I'd say you have a lot of talent. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It comes out different. Every individual is their own self, their own universe, and they don't have to conform. The me best metaphor for my energy is this like free flow expression of making notes like almost like a chronicling or being a journalist of this existence around me. That's a good metaphor for my energy. But And each one has to find what's my right metaphor for who I am, the way I was put together. I think that's pretty close to what I was thought could come out of this idea. Every time I was working for years, even now, even whenever I work, I, I, I always find out something new. I always discover another something that I didn't know was possible. And I started to think about the way we look, that we walk around and we look eye level. Two of the levels are uh, what I call the unseen, and that means that, that I'm not able as a human being to take my body to witness those things. But in my imagination, I can project that this is what it might be like. Above the eye as the angelic, the cosmic, planets, clouds, and then the eye level would be people and strange human creatures, then animals, flora, and then underwater. It took a long time to realize that everything that I was doing was ultimately going to be used to express this concept. This is what I'm discovering in that realm that we don't live in. I ventured into something that um, I wasn't planning on, and I was, but I wasn't planning on until I got there, which is a lot of the way I like to work. I don't like to know how it's going to turn out. For me, it's a, a way of being immediate and direct and being able to find out if I have a story that's worth telling. <laughs>